Governor General Mary Simon's first speech from the throne mentioned acting on several indigenous issues, such as the calls to justice in the final report on missing and murdered indigenous women and girls, and supports for residential school survivors. In the past, indigenous organizations may have been willing to be patient on government promises, but now it's time to act, according to the AFN's national chief. I just felt like, given the circumstances that we're in, you know, with the atmosphere and the recovery of our little ones and a lot of the things that are happening right now, that there would be stronger language uh, in the throne speech and more action oriented because that's what I've been asking for as national chief since I started is, you know, enough with words and empty promises and empty apologies. The Native Women's Association of Canada says the Liberal government continues to say the right things, but needs to be more specific on details. So it's difficult for us to assess really uh, what they're really, really intending to do in all of these areas. So, I mean, the shopping list includes MMIWG, their mention of housing, mental health strategies. It just goes on and on. Uh, but our concern, as it's always, you know, it, it comes to what's actually going to happen when the rubber hits the road. What are they actually going to do? Are they actually actually going to have the resources to do this. The president of Canada's National Inuit Organization credits the government for its unprecedented funding of Indigenous priorities. But he too says the Prime Minister needs to act now. There still is a lot to do and I think if we heard anything in the last six months or so from the unmarked grave sites discoveries to um, the, the first National Day of Truth and Reconciliation and uh, the Prime Minister's approach to that particular day, it's that Canada needs this Prime Minister, Minister, Prime Minister Trudeau, to take an active leadership approach to the reconciliation file. However, the Trudeau government's priorities are to pass legislation banning conversion therapy, set greenhouse gas emission targets, and provide further pandemic supports, all before Christmas. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.